What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now there have been some crazy details and reveals this week about Avengers Secret Wars and what Marvel Studios may look to do with the rest of the multiverse saga. Some details that we will touch on during this video, but there is one in particular that changes the entire complexion of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and perhaps in a way that even I didn't think was possible. Seriously, every single franchise TV and movie will look completely different and for at least a couple of years. We're going to explain this detail on what Marvel Studios may look to do after Avengers King Dynasty breaking the MCU into Battle World, where there is no longer a multiverse. The multiverse has become one fractured world, and every single film and TV show have to take place in that battle world. We're going to explain why this is so complicated, what it would mean for the MCU and our heroes, and ultimately what it would mean for the multiverse saga, why different rumors now say they might need Phase 7 to wrap this whole thing up. We're going to break it down the latest rumors and details including what a battle world mcu would even look like but first if you could grab the subscribe button we do daily marvel content at the channel and that's all we do everything from official easter egg breakdowns trailers and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between so if that sort of thing's for you hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing ps5 giveaway which is right around the corner we're giving away the next one to correspond with the release of ant-man and the wasp quantumania again so if you want to be entered all you got to do be a sub leave a comment on this video if you want stick around to the end of the video we get into all the giveaway stuff again there so for a little context a lot of the details you guys have been hearing this week about the multiverse saga secret wars it all came from the same place earlier this week there was a mega thread dump from one of the marvel Studios subreddits whose mods over there sort of have an hierarchy for the filters who they're willing to trust what they're willing to post and so while this didn't come from one of their top sources they still posted it so take it with as many grains of salt as you see necessary but the key detail for me included among Amongst all of this is that after Avengers 5 King Dynasty, which at this point is still slated to come out in 2025, Marvel would look to take our main continuity 616, the storyline in multiverse thread that we've been following this entire time, and completely blow it up, turning it into a fractured battle world where the multiverse has already been completely destroyed and only the remnants that are able to be saved, and you would assume at least a piece of our 616, are all compiled into one Earth, again showcasing at least in the comics and during the 2015 Jonathan Hick run different Marvel stories and characters that had all led up to this. Now, depending on how you want to look at this, this is both extremely exciting and extremely scary. They're not mutually exclusive. Rather, it's both at the same time. Obviously, this is extremely exciting because number one, it's the on-ramp we've all been looking for to back up those rumors that if you were at ever at any point in a Marvel franchise, the Fox X-Men verse, the Spider-Verse, any of the movies or TV shows, this is how you get them all in and on a battle world scenario where you have the fractured pieces of the TV and film multiverse like they did with the comics, all the runs that led up to it, basically doubling down or even 10 times down on Multiverse of Madness, where you don't say see Patrick Stewart as a variant of Professor X. We may get multiple variants of Professor X, including the X-Men 97 animated versions. In fact, they were a part of Battleworld as well in 2015. And that's a part two of why this is so exciting, is any variant you can think of, Tom Cruise, Superior, Iron Man, and more. They can do that during this without any real ties or worried about consequences because at the end of this, presumably, it'll all be cleaned up with the soft reboot of the MCU we've reported on multiple times. So whatever the MCU ends up looking like past the multiverse saga, they won't be beholden to any of the craziest characters or any of the hijinks or shenanigans of the multiverse characters that happened during Secret Wars, and that really frees them to do whatever they want. However... That really frees them to do whatever they want is why this is also so scary. Number one, as I mentioned during the prologue, once you break this into Battle World and the 616 is gone, you can't do a single TV show or movie that isn't set in that Battle World. That vastly changes the scope of production, but also the stories from the minute that they're written. Marvel Studios works on pre-production years in advance, and if this is a plan that they have, for Avengers 5. Remember, when they announced all of this during San Diego Comic-Con, everything was subject to change. They've already announced and delayed Secret Wars to 2026. We've heard rumors they may push King Dynasty back from May until later in 2025, break Secret Wars into two movies, and I bring this all up to say that this could be a two or three year process. Again, where every Marvel TV show and movie would not be able to take place outside of this battle world. 
which means if they're starting to write those stories now, and why this is so scary for me for the scope, is that they've got to understand where the checkpoints are at the end of Secret Wars 1, at the end of Avengers King Dynasty, because you can't start to write all these stories if you don't know what that battle world looks like. You can't start to bring them all together if you don't know where they're ultimately going in maybe say part 2 of Secret Wars. Marvel Studios already had to address the snap and the blip somewhat during Phase 4, and when they chose to do so, I thought they did excellent. Monica Rambeau during WandaVision, even Yelena Belova during Black Widow. But setting up the world to deal with the consequences of something that's already happened like the snap and the blip is not the same as having a current and ongoing battle world where the multiverse is completely broken and all hell, quote, has broken loose. I don't think that they can't do it. I'm not saying that it's impossible, but I'm also saying it's scary because even within a movie like Avengers Endgame where there's slight plot holes for time travel, we're able to suspend disbelief somewhat and get through the film. Avengers Endgame's awesome and I, and I would challenge anybody who said otherwise, but to go through multiple movies in years and have this all take place in a multiverse battle world, well yes, you can clean it all up when it's done, but while they're in the moment, that is just such a commitment to how they want the MCU to look. And again, because of the number of films and the sort of timeline we're talking about, we're talking about 25, 26, and maybe even perhaps into 2027. And this sort of brings me to my final thought and just a little bit of speculation. If the MCU were to truly commit to this and actually want to make it so that over the course of a year and a half, say two years, everything's battle world, you could see where those rumors about them possibly downsizing and for a minute could actually make sense, right? It's much easier to do a couple of shows in the midst of Battle World rather than four shows and four movies or four shows and three movies. Three projects or four projects is hard enough, let alone the seven pace that they've been at for multiple years. It could be that as they look for this transitional phase here, before we head into whatever the next part of the saga or next saga will be, presumably focused on mutants and X-Men, which was the rumor all along. It, it's funny how all of these new scoops and rumors have sort of built out the original stuff we were scooping at the end of last year. But man, there is so much left for Marvel Studios to do between now and then. And I think the reason that all of this is so exciting well, other than the fact that it's Avengers Secret Wars, is that we're actually about to get a spoonful of real Kang here in this upcoming Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which really we just had a lot of teases of Thanos before we really got to the meat of Thanos in Infinity War. We're going to be well acquainted with Kang by the time we get to, say, Avengers Kang Dynasty. And the other thing is, is that until they give us an actual hint that they're going to use Doctor Doom in Secret Wars, which if you're doing Battleworld, I have to assume that's where they're going, it could be that they're replacing this with Kang and it'll just be Kang throughout all of Secret Wars. Something that I'm not totally on board with yet, but I also don't want to be one of those fans who just assumes they're doing something and gets upset. We have had Doctor Doom Easter eggs. We need to be patient. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStations at the channel, but this year, instead of subscriber milestones, because we just hit a million, we're going to do it to correspond with Marvel movie releases as that happens uh, a little more often, at least now that we've passed the million mark. And the next one is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which is two weeks away. If you want to be entered to win, all the same rules will apply. All you got to do, hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below, because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced with my voice live in videos with the comment shown on screen. So please be vigilant. If anybody should comment on your you comment on this channel, pretending to be me, or if it happens anywhere else on YouTube, as I know a lot of my YouTube friends are dealing with this as well, no YouTuber will ever tell you you won in the comments. No YouTuber will ever ask you to contact them on a third party app like Telegram or WhatsApp. No YouTuber will ever ask you to pay for shipping. These are scammers. Please report those comments. I try to reply to as many DMs and inquiries from you guys as possible. I also spend a lot of time sitting on the channel deleting those comments, but there's only so much I can do. There are filtering parameters. Some of you guys have asked about that. I have it set to the strictest settings. I also have additional filters on the things people can say, and they still find a way through because bots. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, under the name All Fires. And I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out. Thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.